guys, I am back today with the last video in my 2013 summer travel series. If you missed the previous three videos and you're curious, there are of course links below. But in this particular video, I have challenged myself to try to pack for a three night long weekend trip through, you know, going on a plane with carry on luggage only, um, which is not something I typically do. I typically check luggage even for three day trips. Usually when we are traveling, we're bringing our golf clubs, so we're checking those anyway, and it just makes sense to check our you know, our luggage too. Plus it's hard to pack both of us into carry-ons, um, but when it's just me, I thought maybe I could do it if it were just me and my thing. So I thought, why not? I'm going to try, and I'm going to try using my Vera Bradley Weekender bag. This is in the, I think it's called the Vintage Rose, no, English Rose pattern. Um, it's on clearance now and it'll be gone for good in mid-September. So if you like this pattern, I would check it out of your probably now. But it is on sale. I think it's 25% off the, everything in this pattern right now. Um, which is nice, and it's my favorite, current favorite Vera Bradley pattern. And I love this bag. I bought this in the spring, or maybe it was the late winter, um, because I don't have anything like this. I have a lot of wheeled luggage. I don't have any um, soft-sided, carry-on style luggage. I actually used this for a car trip, a couple of road trips actually that we took over the early in the summer and uh, worked out great. And I wanted to see if I can pack it for an airplane bag. Um, it's a great kind of mid-sized bag, but it's soft-sided so it's real light. It's cushioned. It's like got built-in cushioning because it's made out of a quilted material. And it's super cute. So that's nice. It also has a nice supportive um, strap to it as well. So it has the arm handles as well as the shoulder strap. So I thought, why not? Let's give it a try. Um, so without further ado, let's go into the actual packing. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step, what I'm show you what I'm packing, how I'm packing it, and we'll see if it fits. So here we go, game on. I always start out my packing by laying out my travel outfit. And if you watched my last video, then you'll have seen this in detail. It's my current favorite travel outfit. Very comfy jeans that I can roll up and crop or keep rolled down for warmer. A nice soft t-shirt, a light pullover sweatshirt, my tennis shoes. Right now they're the Nike um, Flex and some thin socks. So I've gone ahead and pulled out all the items I wanna bring with me on my trip. Like I said, it's a three night trip and I need some kind of more dressy outfits, some casual daytime outfits and some swimwear. Um, so I've pulled out some dresses, two kind of nicer dresses and then one that can be more casual and or for day. And then I have all my clothes for the day, uh, for the day parts of the trips. I mean, I have two tank tops and two t-shirts. One of the t-shirts I will wear on the way home for sure. I always like to have one more shirt than there is days just in case. And I have a pair of jean shorts. I'm also traveling uh, in my, um, you know, my rolled up jeans that I can wear as full jeans or crop style jeans. So I have that on me, I don't need to pack it. I also have a light sweater that will go over all of my dresses. I always travel with a pair of mesh shorts. Um, I don't generally pack workout clothes for such a short trip. Um, I'll usually just take long walks wherever we are. Um, so I have a pair of mesh shorts. Of course I have my sneakers, I'm wearing them on the plane. And I'll just wear whatever t-shirt I was wearing the previous day. And then I'll shower after my morning walk, if that makes sense. I have a little cover-up for my uh, bathing suits for poolside or beachside, and then I have my nightgown. I have two bathing suits. I always make sure I bring two um, because one sometimes they don't dry in time, and I hate being in a wet suit um, for longer than I have to be. So I have two of my Maji swimsuits and a wet swimsuit bag that I got a long time ago at the Gap. Um, I don't think they have it anymore, but it's just lined in um, vinyl. It just makes it really easy to travel. And then also for clothes, I have all of my undergarments. Um, I have underwear for, you know, you know, walking, exercising, and then everyday underwear and special underwear that goes under my um, dresses. Always make sure you pack all the underwear you need. I have four pairs of socks. Again, I like to bring one extra pair of socks. I have 
four pairs of everyday underwear too, so I have an extra pair there. And I have the bra that I need to wear under my nicer dresses, and the other bra I'm bringing I am wearing. And they are both nude bras, so they go under every shirt and every dress that I am bringing. Additionally, I have shoes. I have my Havaiana flip-flops, which I like to travel with. They're great for poolside or just for being out and about during the day. And then for this trip, I am packing my um, Steve Madden wedges. They're white, they go with all three dresses. I could wear this uh, more casual dress with the flip-flops for during the day or a more casual dinner as well. I'm also bringing my little Kate Spade white handbag, and this is the only purse I am bringing um, because it translates for both day and night. It works great for both. And inside of it, I have gone ahead and packed my mini walking pharmacy, so that just has little things that I like to have in my bag with me for day or night, and a small wallet um, for travel. And I'm gonna keep this in its little slip case to keep it protected. For toiletries and makeup, I have really, really pared this down. Um, so I usually travel with my Kate Spade um, big case and inside of it um, I have all of my toiletries usually for travel as well as this smaller case that it came with where I keep my skincare items and then whenever we get to the place we're going I pull this out and keep both things kind of separate but sink side if that makes sense. So I had to pare this down because it's carry on and I needed all my liquids and gel products to fit into a three, uh, one quart bag and they have to be in three ounce or less containers. And I managed to do that. Uh, this is pretty jam-packed. This is my new favorite thing. It's the Vera Bradley 311 cosmetic case. It's TSA approved. I have all of my liquid and gel products, both um, toiletries and makeup. And if you'd like to see a breakdown of what I have in this, then you should head over to the coordinating blog post I have up with this. I have a picture of every single item and a description of what it is. I pared it down to the necessities. It's only three nights, um, so I think I managed to do a good job and I got all my makeup items in there too as well as the carry-on items that I usually have um, in my walking travel walking pharmacy those are on top for easy access during the flight and I even packed sunscreen I actually have sunscreen that's in three ounce or less containers by Kula I have the mineral sunscreens both the face and the body so I have everything I need for the pool for nighttime for daytime whatever time I have all of my liquid and gels nicely packed in there. I have everything that's not a liquid or a gel in this little um, terry cloth travel cosmetic case from Glitzy Glam I've had for a while and I use off and on. And um, I have all of my kind of dry kind of toiletries. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, again, if you want a breakdown of everything I have in there, head over to the blog post. It's all in this nice little, nice little case and it's soft sided and it's easy to kind of mush the way you want it to. Uh, Additionally, I don't leave home without my Clarisonic Mia. Um, I always keep it in this little Vera Bradley case, and that's where it is. Um, and um, I, I just always bring it, so I always make sure I have room for it. I have two larger combs, one that I use after I get out of the shower, and then one that I use to put my part in. These don't fit in any of my cases, so I'm just putting them in my wet um, bikini bag. And then I also have a few things that I know will probably be wet on the way home, so I have them in a separate Ziploc large size bag. Uh, my, my head towel, this is like a turban drying towel for your hair, I always travel with that. I have my spa head wrap and a travel size loofah. Lastly, I've got all of my makeup that isn't liquid or gel form in this little 1154 Little Studio pouch cosmetic case. It's a little bit hard to see in there. Again, if you want to see a breakdown of everything, I have a picture on the blog post. It fits nicely. It's a great size. It stands up. I'm, of course, bringing my Sigma travel brushes. Um, I've pared it down to the necessities. So I have all of the brushes, both face and eye, that I want to bring. And I like having this little case. This is from the Mr. Bunny um, Travel Collection. If you're curious, there's a link to Sigma below. And I have a coupon code because I am a Sigma affiliate. Um, so I'm able to give a coupon code. It's just nice to have the little cup options when traveling. Because when I get to wherever we're going, I'll just leave them out on the desk or in the bathroom or wherever they're staying. And I put all of my face brushes in one. 
and my eye brush is in the other and then they're out and organized and they don't get all messed up in a bag while I'm traveling. Lastly, I have my jewelry. I'm not bringing my whole jewelry roll because it's only a three day trip. I don't have that much to bring. I'm just using this little sport sack um, cosmetic case I've had for a long time. I like it for um, small trips for carrying jewelry because of the way that the pockets are. Um, and I'm not traveling with very large jewelry, but all of my jewelry is stored in individual tarnish-free Ziploc baggies. That's how I store my jewelry all the time. So it just makes it easy to grab for travel too. So in the front pocket I have earrings, in the middle pocket I have necklaces, and in the back pocket I have bracelets. And all of that is going to eventually <laughs> fit into my Vera Bradley Weekender tote, which I am hoping it really will. Um, I, think, I think I can do it. I'm going to pack the majority of my clothes um, into Eagle Creek packet cubes in varying sizes. I have quarter cube, full cube, a tube cube for the uh, undies, and a half tube for my flip-flops. I always pack my flip-flops in the half cube. It works out like a charm. I have little shoe, um, shoe ins for my um, wedges there to keep them protected, but also to keep my things protected from the soles of the shoes, which, you know, have been on, on the ground outside. And then I've also gone ahead and laid out everything that I'm bringing in my carry-on, and I've decided to bring my Longchamp Le Pliage large size tote with me. Um, it's folded up flat right there because I need a pool bag anyway for this trip and I thought it would double great as a carry-on. Um, and I'm gonna be packing all of these items in it. If you watched my video last week, you probably will have seen these things already, um, but I will show you how I pack them in the bag in this video. So I have two carry-ons, one personal size and one luggage size uh, that are both airline approved and I should not have a problem traveling with those. So let's get started packing. Okay, I'm gonna start by putting all of my clothes into the packet cubes. So, I'm not gonna travel with my hangers like I normally would if I were packing. Checked bag. I'm gonna put those aside. And I'm just gonna fold my dresses up and start the packing. Cases, I am going to pack the bag. So I tried to make everything as flat as possible. I think it's pretty good. And I'm going to attempt to pack this bag um, and fit every, all of these things that you see here. They're all going to fit in my Vera Bradley Weekender, or so I hope. It's actually a very nice, very roomy bag. It's got a lot of interior organizational pockets that you could use for all different sorts of things. Since I'm using mostly packet cubes in my own cases, I probably won't be using those that much in this packing. But um, it'd be great for, you know, like a dance bag, an overnight bag, um, you know, anything. You could definitely get a lot of use out of this bag. So, let's see if I, maybe I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can get a better view. Okay, so I've moved everything just basically so you could see better, but I have everything piled up on the bed next to me, and hopefully you guys can see the bag here. Um, it's empty, and I'm going to kind of pack it how I normally would. So I'm going to pack it first, and then I will, un while I unpack it, I'll talk you through how I packed it, if that makes sense. So let's see if I can get a good packing job first. <laughs> Actually, 
a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, and you can see it's pretty packed full, but there actually is a little room if I wanted to throw my sweatshirt in the top, I could. Um, it's not terribly heavy considering everything I have in it. And everything fits. And I used vertical organization, which is my favorite way of packing things um, when I'm using an upright sort of device like this. In this case, it's a bag. Um, and it's not like a suitcase where it opens up flat, so I had to be a little bit more creative. Um, but now I'm going to talk you through, I'm going to unpack the bag and I'll talk you through what I put where. So this bag has this really generous front pocket and I just stuck my little Kate Spade handbag in the front. Uh, fits perfectly in there and um, I don't need it in the meat, meaty part of the bag. Um, I tried to put all of my... Um, more delicate things at the top. Um, so of course I put my 311 cosmetic case, my Vera Bradley 311 cosmetic case at the top because I'll need to just pull that out when I go through security real fast. I want to be able to access it. You don't want your, your travel case or your Ziploc baggie or whatever you're using at the bottom of your bag because then it's a real nuisance when you're going through security. So that's real easy to access. And I also have my brushes and makeup at the top of the bag so I am mindful of where they are in the bag and I can be careful um, of where I'm placing them on the plane, if that makes sense. And then you can kind of see Gosh, I hope you can kind of see. You can kind of see that I, I used every corner of this bag. It is full to the bottom. You can see it's pretty full throughout. Um, but I didn't leave any pockets of, of unused space. So I did use one of the slip pockets inside to slip my little jewelry pouch in. That worked out great. Everything else has its own case and it didn't need to go in a slip pocket. I put my long Eagle Creek tube uh, cube, tube cube uh, with my undergarments uh, at the top here. I kind of like, kind of split it into half. So I have on this side, I have my large um, full size packet cube with all of my clothes in it for the most part standing upright because I it just I like upright organization it has a handle so easy to pull out behind that I just tucked my wet suit bag with my swimsuits and combs in it because they fit nicely back there and I figured out that my um, non-liquid uh, toiletry case fit perfectly next to the bag and filled out all the space so I had that tucked on that side as well and then on this side, I put my little uh, uh, half cube, packet cube, um, with my dresses in it um, to, to, to make use of the space on that side. Underneath it, I put my little Vera Bradley cosmetic case that has my uh, Clarisonic Mia face brush in there because it's heavy. I wanted that on the bottom. I just tucked my um, Ziploc baggie with my little bathroom things, you know, my towel, my hair towel and all that uh, kind of on top of my shoes, which are packed themselves, I have my flip-flops in a uh, quarter tube, or a half tube, I think, and then my shoes are in their shoe-ins. And that is how I packed that bag. I think it worked out really great. And now I'm gonna pack up real quickly my little Longchamp um, tote size bag and show you how I do that. Okay, I've got my Le Pliage Longchamp large size tote. I'm gonna open it up. It's a little bit loosey-goosey without anything in it. This is a great bag. I talked about this in my favorite carry-ons bag and I've shown all of the things that are my in-flight necessities in a separate video as well. There are links to both videos below. Um, so I'm just going to show you how I pack this particular bag uh, for this particular trip. So I've got my little um, undercover bear lumbar support pillow. I've got my magazine and a journal and my Kindle with all my reading material and writing material there. I have my little Eagle Creek uh, packet system with my scarf in it to keep me warm on the flight. And this one has all of my chargers in it for my phone, my Kindle, and my camera. I have my little travel walking pharmacy. I, of course, took all of the liquids and gels out of there and put them in the other ones. So that's you only allow one quart size container per person. Uh, I have my Bose noise canceling headphones. I have my um, slipper socks for the plane in case it gets chilly. Sunglasses, of course. I'm going to kind of lay those on top. I have my uh, vlogging camera and a little Vera Bradley camera case for protection. 
And then I have a couple of snacks and my phone. And everything fits in there real nice. Well, as you can see, I did it. I fit everything. And I am a person who brings a lot of things with me. That's just a personal preference. I like to travel with what I like to travel with. You have to figure out what, what you need personally. This is what I need personally. This is not me trying to say you need to bring all of these kinds of things with you on a similar trip. It's just what I bring and I'm just sharing how to pack them. But the bag is packed. It's actually not that terribly heavy considering how much I have in there. And um, I think I could manage on the plane with this. Um, so that's great. And then I also have my personal size carry-on, which does double duty as my pool bag. Um, and this is pretty light. So I'm all set. I've got everything packed into a personal size and a small luggage size uh, carry-on. Now, different airlines have different um, like measurement restrictions for carry-on luggage. I know without a doubt this will definitely fit under my seat. I could probably get this to fit under my seat in a pinch if I had to, maybe take a couple things out and put them in this. This would definitely fit in any overhead compartment, even on the tiniest airplanes. Um, and I am very pleased with how it turned out. I think I would not have a problem and I'd have everything I needed. And I was most impressed with my getting everything into that little 311 cosmetic case. It's actually a great case, but you can totally just use a quart size Ziploc bag. Just make sure all your liquids and gels are in three ounce or less sized containers, or you'll be flagged to go into security and they'll make you like throw away your things and that's a real big hassle. So you don't want to do that. So make sure you do your research before your flight. If you're packing for, um, you know, carry on only, make sure that your luggage is within the right measurements so you don't have any trouble getting through security and getting on the um, plane with your bags and everything you want in them. Um, now, I did want to host a giveaway for the summer. I usually do a summer giveaway, and this year I have decided to discontinue um, the contests that I've done in years past. It's just become just too hard to do. So I'm just going to do just a standard, regular, random giveaway. It'll be hosted on my blog, OrganizedGen.com, and if you follow the coordinating blog post link that's in the more info bar below, you will be taken to the um, blog where I show you up close photos of everything and links to products where I can find them, including kind of like better looks into um, all the little cases and stuff that I didn't go into that much detail in, in the video. Um, but at the bottom of that blog post, there will be the raffle copter widget to enter the giveaway. It's really easy. Just please be sure that you use an email address to enter that you actually check, or if you log in with Facebook, make sure you're checking the email that's associated with your Facebook account um, because I will contact the winners directly through email. So what will you win if, if you win? Um, I am giving away two of each thing. So I have two giveaway winners for this giveaway. Um, and each winner will win the Fear Bradley Weekender bag in the English Rose pattern. A nice starter selection of the Eagle Creek Packet Cubes. Unfortunately, they don't sell that purple color anymore. I've had those for a really long time. Uh, but the black is nice, of course. Um, and it's one of each of the ones that I packed in the video. So you've got the um, half tube cube, the full tube cube, the quarter cube, or the half cube, excuse me, and the full cube, if that makes sense. Those are things are hard to say. I'm also including this really cute Travel Happen Sealed Wet Bag. It's an, a zip top um, bag for your wet items like bathing suits. I can't, the one that I show is no longer available. I've had that for like 10 years. But this is a similar kind of thing. It's got cute little whale pattern on it. I also found this really cute shoe bag by, by Reasonful and it's real lightweight so you can put your shoes in there. And then lastly, my new favorite thing, the Vera Bradley 311 cosmetic case in the Lola pattern. I thought this kind of matched the um, English Rose the best. Um, so each winner will win this collection of items. I'll even hold up the second set so you guys can see I am not lying. <laughs> 
And um, yeah, it's pretty easy to enter. You just follow the directions in the blog post on the widget and you should be able to enter really easily. Um, just be sure that if you're under the age of 18, you have parental permission and it is open internationally. The giveaway will, period will run for one week's time, at which point I will randomly select winners. They will be contacted directly by me through email and they will be announced on the blog post as well as on Twitter. Um, so check out those places if you want to see who won and good luck to everyone. And thank you for watching this video and if you watch the other ones as well, my entire summer 2013 travel series, I had so much fun sharing with you guys. And the carry on challenge was definitely a lot of fun for me because I wasn't sure I could do it as you guys know, I like to bring a lot of things with me, and the three night trip is a little bit tricky, but I did it, and I can't believe I got all my makeup and all of my liquids and gels into that little, the little case. I mean, it's just like, okay, I gotta pull it out again, because that's just like, it's just an accomplishment, you know? I mean, and I even have sunscreen. I have face and body sunscreen. Can we talk about that for a minute? Anyway, um, I'm really happy with uh, how this went and I really enjoyed sharing with you guys and I hope you guys are excited about the giveaway. I will be back in a couple of weeks with standard organizational projects, no more travel series for now. You can be sure that I'll be back with some sort of travel related organization video at some point um, before next summer rolls around once more. But uh, yeah, good luck to all who enter the giveaway and thank you so much for watching. Happy travels, you guys. Take care. Bye.